Hey YouTubers and welcome back to this channel. I want to continue the theme of radiation. In a video that I posted yesterday, I showed you how easy it is to make x-rays in your garage or anywhere else you plan to make them using a vintage x-ray tube, which I have right over there actually. It can be set up in a matter of seconds basically. In this video, I want to look at salt and sodium free salt for radiation content. In a previous video that I posted, I had a plastic cover over the probe of the Geiger counter, which I think attenuated a lot of the radiation that was being given off. So let's see, um, let's repeat this experiment with the cover off. So basically I'm able to detect low energy beta particles that you might see coming out of one of these. And one of these is salt and one is fake salt. And we're gonna we're gonna test it. We're gonna test the sodium free salt and we're gonna test the regular salt and look at the radiation being produced. So right now I'm picking up background and what I'm using here is a different Geiger counter. This one has a regular type of probe and that red thing there is the plastic cover which I've removed exposing the thin window which should allow low energy particles such as low energy beta and even alpha particles to pass through. So this probe can be used to look at all kinds of different things that you might not be able to see with other types of uh, digital Geiger counters that have plastic enclosures. So all right, let's go ahead and test these. So let's look at this. Not seeing a whole lot of anything out of that one. Now, let's look at this. Oh, definite activity here. Quite act. So basically that one there is sodium free salt which basically contains a lot of potassium or all potassium so it's potassium chloride or is this one sodium chloride and the reason that the potassium chloride shows up on the Geiger counter is it contains a tiny percentage of the isotope potassium 40 which is radioactive and has a very long half okay this cute green glass teddy bear fluoresces under UV light, as you can see here, a really amazingly green color. It's incredible. And it's made of something called uranium glass. And this thing emits alpha particles. Okay, here it goes again. Way above background. So uranium glass is not dangerous because most of the radiation that it emits is very low energy and uh, probably won't even penetrate your skin. So uranium glass, you commonly see this type of glass in vintage glassware. This plate is made out of what's called Fiesta ware, which was very popular some years ago. It has this distinctive orange color and there's a lot of it around. You find it in vintage shops that sell old uh, pottery and uh, ceramics and uh, it's made out of uranium source that give it this distinctive orange color. So let's probe this thing and see what happens. Okay now I'm going to put a copper sheet on top of it which st should stop all the alpha and beta and anything that's coming through maybe Bremstrelon. So let's check it. Bremstrelon is where you decelerate alpha particles into a metal and produce some x-rays or gamma rays. And that's pretty much what I'm picking up here. Now we can prove that that copper produced Bremstrelon because what I'm going to do is just put a piece of regular wood on top and 
if it was radiation, if it was like beta radiation, high energy beta penetrating through, or gamma, that should get right through this. A little bit of activity above background, but not a whole lot. Now the copper. Back to the copper. Taking the wood away. Copper's covering the plate. And obviously you've got Brems from in here. Thanks for watching and please come back for some more videos. Please subscribe.